So I made another video on my LUS channel about Logan Paul, more of a technical video, and that's how I'm going to basically have two channels. One would be more from a lawyer perspective, and the other one would be more from a marketing perspective. Now, Logan Paul, we know him as the Pokemon guy, the guy pumping up Pokemon to the moon. And one of the additional characters in this story we are very familiar with, his name is Collectible Gurus, or Jake, or Crypto King. And he rug pulled this project for $6 million. $6 million. Uh, we also know that Crypto King, Jake, Collectible Gurus, it's all the same guy, that in addition to pumping and dumping Pokemon cards and appearing on Logan Paul's videos, and his live streams, he actually sold a fake box of first edition base to Dumb Money Live. And we know that Lean Heart was also there. So this is a character list of people that we know is involved in pumping and dumping. CoffeeZilla has accused Logan Paul of basically a scam as Logan Paul mentions in his own video. The Logan Paul has taken his time to respond. His response, in my opinion, is very, very bad. So this is where we are right now. There are people out there, including Logan Paul, including, I believe, sports card investor who threatened to sue. And Logan Paul, in my opinion, I don't see the case. I went to look for the case. There's no live case against CoffeeZilla or his real name, Steven. And there's no pending cases on Logan Paul. Logan Paul, at the end of the video, says he will see CoffeeZilla in court and to make sure to raise lots of Patreon money for the court fees. This fret which is something that we talked about in great length from the Sports Car Radio Sports Card Investor, at this moment in time is just a fret. So instead of writing a cease and desist letter, Logan Paul essentially made a public notice, a public notification that I'm going to sue you, CoffeeZilla. As a lawyer, I'm appalled. Uh, Logan Paul has been canceled before. If anyone understands internet culture and the fact that you can read the comments, there are for every like on the video, there's two dislikes if you download the plugin that shows you dislikes, which I've done. It's going to be a bloodbath. Uh, he, there's two wars that you have to fight when you are publicly going to try to silence people. One is the fight for the PR. On his own video, it's bad. 99% of comments are very negative. The ones that are being upvoted all, I, I read it. I read some of the comments in my other video on LUS. I can't see how Logan Paul survives this. I think it is very foolish for him to do this. He will 100% lose the PR battle. Now the, the battle, the legal battle, I'm fully committed to donating money to CoffeeZilla to offering advice should he need it. Uh, this is a CoffeeZilla, like I mentioned before um, when I was talking about Sports Card Radio and Sports Card Investor, you want channels like this to exist. Logan Paul's excuse seems to be that he hired, his developer was a criminal, his uh, NFT expert, which was Crypto King, i.e. Collectible Gurus, he was a criminal. Uh, his The guy who was supposed to vet everything, he was a criminal. Like, I'm not sure, like, at what point do you take responsibility because you hired a team of criminals. Even if you yourself are not a criminal, you created a team where everyone was incentivized to rug pull, and now you're surprised when everyone rug pulled. When the developer, who was a criminal, he ran away with the code. When Jake, which we know from Crypto King times and uh, Collectible Guru times, he is a shady individual and he rug pulls for six million. That was not surprising. And Eddie rug pulls. The guy that you hired 
who lied about all the play like you verified that the investigation by maybe you didn't even know about Eddie. The investigation by Eddie on uh, by Coffeezilla on Eddie is actually the evidence you're using to accuse Eddie of being a criminal. So, yeah, um, I'm not surprised. This is the end result. I do think Logan Paul will probably not sue. Uh, I think a lawyer will get in touch with him. His lawyers, I'm sure, just like Mr. Wilson, he has an army of lawyers ready and willing to sue the the Jesus or sue you to hell as uh mr wilson would say wilson parties would claim as internet we have to fight um because surprisingly logan paul cared very little about his crypto zoo project until now now he's saying oh well good news guys i'm going to uh work on the project and it's being worked on as we speak and we're going to develop something for you guys this is very sus because at no point in time before the CoffeeZilla investigation did you mention CryptoZoo at all uh, after the, the rug pulls. And I can understand, hey, maybe you were, and I, you get it. I mean, I, I get it. You, you get it. I get it. If we were in a group project of three other people and the three other people bailed on us, we probably don't want to finish a group project. Why should they deserve the grades that we get, right? Uh, we'd probably need to probably even protest by not doing the project. My point is frightening to sue people, be it if you're a sports card investor, be it if you're Logan Paul. The internet only has one resolution. So I'm not speaking as mainly a lawyer. I'm just speaking as somebody who's had a YouTube channel for a long time and has seen this be played out many times. This is not the first time. Jeff Wilson is not the last time. This is not the last time this will be played out in the public forums. At the end of the day, this is a bad luck for Logan. Uh, CoffeeZilla is going to come out even bigger and stronger than before with much more patrons. I assure you that his patrons are going to double, triple, quadruple, and he's not going to let this go. There are a lot of shady actors in this Again, you know, Logan's excuse is, oh, I didn't rug pull, but I hired a bunch of people and they all rug pulled. Then you got, it's on you as the owner, as the face of this company to make sure you hire the right people. Um, in my business marketing, that would be like if we didn't deliver what we said we would deliver. And I said, oh, well, it wasn't my fault. It was the people who I hired to do the work for you. Well, what do you think my client would say? And my client would say, no, that is your fault. You're the boss. You're the owner. You know, when I'm buying into the marketing, I'm buying into you, Tony. And that's the same idea with CryptoZoo, that they were buying into Logan. They don't know who Eddie is. They, I mean, I don't think anyone would buy into collectible gurus. The honest truth is, I want to believe Logan Paul is a different person i want to believe logan paul is a better human being than he's been in the past but he's not and so many times uh po politics red versus blue democrats versus republicans that we are so divided that we can't sit down and just talk it over just have a talk and say hey this is my perspective I want to learn about your perspective. Okay, that's your perspective. Okay, I can see some of the points that you had. I didn't see that before. Because we are in a very divided nation, we don't have that ability to do it. And I think it's very sad. I think it is quite sad that, simply put, we cannot communicate with each other unless it's threatening to sue people. And obviously, that's not good for our system. That's not good for our government. It's not good to, even legally, it's not good to clog up our system with this type of stop. I mean, we have more important things to, I mean, there's, there's got to be more important things to do, right? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you su support Logan? Do you support CoffeeZilla? Do you want to see more coverage of it? This is tangentially related to our coverage of Sports Card Investor. But let me know.